This is Laura Chappell and welcome to Wireshark Tip 25. If you want to follow these tips on the day that I release them on Twitter, you can follow me at Laura Chappell. Now for this tip, we're going to create a coloring rule and we are specifically looking for bad TCP connection options. The syntax for this coloring rule string will be tcp.hdr underscore len less than 28. So we're looking for a TCP header length that is less than 28 and ampersand ampersand, of course, tcp.flags.sin equal sign equal sign one. So we're looking at the first two pack of the hand first two packs of the handshake. And the reason why we do the header length is because that tells us how many options are contained in those packets. In an ideal situation, we like to see 32 bytes in the TCP header. That would indicate that most likely the source of that is providing a maximum segment size value as well as um, enabling selective acknowledgments as well as using uh, window scaling. But of course, we have to look at those packets to make sure that those are the three options that are in each one. So let me go and show you what it looks like when we create this coloring rule and we apply it to some trace files. I've opened up the trace file called tcp-problem-pointa.pcapng and this trace file is available out at the Wireshark book website. Looking at the first two packets, I can see that we have a SYN and a SYNAC following that. So let's just look at the SYN packet first. And I'll expand the TCP header. And we're interested in the options that are contained in the TCP header as well as the TCP header length. Now this header length indicates that the header is 44 bytes long, so that's a lot bigger than 28 bytes. If we look at the options that are contained, we can see that this client is defining a maximum segment size value of 1380 bytes, and that has to be in every TCP SYN packet, as well as a SYNAC. We also see that there's a NOP in there, which is a no operation. It's just padding, so the header can end on a four byte boundary. This client also indicates that it supports window scaling and it supports TCP timestamps. Now this is different than the TCP calculate conversation timestamps uh, area that Wireshark will put inside of this header. So it supports TCP timestamps and it supports selective acknowledgements. So this is a pretty full functioned client. We'll build our coloring rule based on this particular trace file. And I'll build it first as a display filter and then I'll paste it over into a coloring rule. So I'm going to start by expanding the flag section because I'm only interested in SYN packets and I'm going to be adding that to a filter based on the header length value. So on the TCP header length field I'm going to right mouse click and say prepare a filter based on the selected value. Now I'm looking for the TCP header length being less than 28. So I'm going to change that. And then I'm looking for any time the SYN bit is set. So I will select the SYN bit line. I'm going to right mouse click and say prepare a filter. And when you're appending to an existing filter up in your display filter area, this is when we use the dot 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 options in here. So I'm going to select dot 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 and selected. That adds the second piece to the first piece, the second filter element to the first filter element. And it will always put parentheses around them. And you don't actually need the parentheses in this case. You would only need the parentheses if you're grouping together two filter items and then adding another filter item to that. And now I'm just going to grab that whole display filter and copy it and then select my coloring rules button. Say I want to make a brand new coloring rule and I'm going to name this capital T dash connection problems and I'll paste that filter in my coloring rule string. Now I'm going to set the background color to orange because for me I use that as my butt ugly color. I'm not a, not a big fan of orange, sorry. And you notice I just typed in the word orange and then I hit the tab and Wireshark understands the X11 color name so you can always type in a color name. I'll say OK and that's what it will look like. I'll say OK and it's up at the top of my coloring rule list and I'll click OK. 
Now, if I apply my filter for sins, which we learned about in an earlier tip, I can just bring up the sin packets and see if anything matches that coloring rule, and neither one of these do. But in this example, I'm looking at the traffic on one side of a natting firewall. So we have a client 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 that talks to a natting firewall, and the natting firewall is going to proxy on behalf of this client. It's going to set up a separate connection on the outside from the new IP address to the target server. So I want to see how this connection looks on the outside of the natting firewall. Hopefully the attributes of the client will be carried through. Let's look at what the server said in its SYNAC packet before we look on the other side. In the SYNAC packet we can see that the TCP header length is 28 bytes, so it's not less than 28, it's 28 bytes. Uh, we can see that maximum segment size is supported, window scaling is supported, and that's it. Boy, it sure would be nice if uh, it also supported selective acknowledgments. I'm going to open up the trace file called tcp-problem.b and looking at this trace file I'll apply my sin filter and that looks pretty good. It looks like nothing is colored orange. Now let's go ahead and open up another trace file to test this. ftp-download-good2 Ah. So we can see that it appears that we have a problem with a handshake in this trace file. If we look at what the client said, our, our client's SYN packet was not colored orange here. So if we look at what the client said that its capabilities are, our client said in the TCP header, and let me just get to the options area in the SYN packet. Let me get to the SYN packet and get down to the options. So there's our SYN packet and the client said, it supported a maximum segment size of 1,460 bytes, and it supports selective acknowledgments. But in the SYNAC packet that came back from the server, it has in the options area only the maximum segment size value. So we can't support selective acknowledgments, and we can't support window scaling. And that's really not an ideal TCP connection establishment process. If you'd like to read the Wireshark tips on the day they're released, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. For more Wireshark training and tips, visit chapelu.com.